Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let me share some new things that I have tried in this surgery. You can see this is an almost mature cataract. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision. Another side port on the left side of the main incision. And now the anti capsule is being stained underneath an air bubble. Tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule and now the dye is washed out nicely. In this case I have tried a Rexis under BSS. So the irrigating Prove irrigating cannula goes through the left side port. A capsular tag is raised with a needle, and I'm going to use this utrita forceps for doing this rexis. I'm trying to do a small rexis because if it goes runs out I'll have a big problem because there is no visco in the anterior chamber. So the rexis is small about 4 millimeter. Hydrodissection is done and now the tip of the FECO needle goes in. I kept the SE formed by BSS and introduced the FECO needle. I didn't use visco at this stage also. Now the nucleus is rotated nicely both clockwise and anticlockwise. Since this is a small rexis, we have to divide the nucleus into smaller pieces and then manage each small nuclear piece. So I'm going to divide the nucleus. This is vertical chop. Just chop the nucleus. Pierce the nucleus just in front of the fecal needle and chop it. And now each nuclear piece is subdivided into smaller pieces and they are emulsified. So one heminucleus has been managed. FECO power used in this case is 50%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Cataracts 3. And now this is the last nuclear piece. The antechamber is very stable and there was no problem in emulsifying the last piece. Now there is a small piece of nucleus near the left side port. Just used some visco here so that I can bring it out through the main wound. So I engaged it in the main wound, broke it into smaller pieces and brought it out. Now we go through the left side port and remove the cortex. So removing the cortex going through the left side port. Since there is no visco I am using the side ports. The antechamber is better formed if we use smaller wounds. 
So this is done. And now in this case we have selected Hoya intraocular lens where the preloaded system is such that we have to screw out the lens. Since both the hands will be engaged in that, for implantation of the intraocular lens, I had to use Visco, and that is, in this case, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. So methyl cellulose is used to fill up the bag as well as the anterior chamber. And now the cartridge goes into the anterior chamber. And now I have to use both the hands. The left hand holds the preloaded system and a right hand screws out the lens. And the lens is dialed and the haptics are placed about 90 degree away from the main wound. Now in this case the erexis is quite small and I tried to enlarge, I wanted to enlarge it because if the erexis is small sometimes patients develop capsular phimosis. So I make a nick at the margin of this small rexis and go in this case I went clockwise all around and enlarge the rexis 360 degree. So it was a very nice round rexis large but overlapping a small portion of the optic. So this size of this rexis is about 5.75 millimeter. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will give you some new ideas.